You never know. We'll talk to Sir Bryant. Caught up a little bit. Learned, uh, yeah, uh, they, uh, well, Logan kind of wants his dad. Chant of light scattered in the darkness. The word dispel, fear and ignorance. Let those who cry out from the shadows be comforted. Maybe she was ugly. Maybe she had buck teeth. How would we know? Maybe Andrasa was ugly, is that what you're saying? Okay. Matter of fact, let me, um, hold up. Let me, um... There should be, like, some kind of subtitles, but, like, for what they're talking. Hold up. Is it really not, like... All subtitles? That's kind of... Oh, no, there it is. Bam. Um. There you go. Four corners of the world. Let it rise at last to the ears of the Maker. Let him hear our unwavering faith. Let him hear our righteous dedication and enduring perseverance. And then shall the Maker return to us. And then shall the... Hold up. I don't want that. I want, like... Make a return to the black city in heaven, and then shall the chant of light make it pure. Let all mankind there you go. be humble. That's what I want. Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. Uh, by the way, tomorrow. And when the maker spoke, chant so of three. light scattered in the darkness. I'm hyped. The word dispelled fear and I'm listening to a prayer. Give me a second. Let Hold those up. Who cry out from the shadows be comforted. Let those who seek redemption be delivered. But those who have sinned be right. forgiven. It's terrible. Oh. So many come to Lothering seeking refuge, only to find that we can offer little more than prayer. I mean, does the Maker see our plight? Is he moved by this destruction? I, I apologize. The Maker's plan is too grand for me to fathom, especially at times like this. Okay. What are they chanting? The chant of light. Surely you know it. Mm -mm. Oh, I guess I do. Ah, uh, the chant shows our devotion to the maker. The entire chant takes weeks to sing and is only done straight weeks. through at the Grand Cathedral in Val Royo. Here we can only sing a few verses per week and finish anew each first day. What? They do a whole chant that lasts weeks? Nah, that, no wonder they're like super about it. Cause like, imagine learning a fucking... Anything really, you know, a text. You know, study for like a, a test or whatever. Yeah, if you're if you gotta read it for like weeks on end, yeah, of course you're gonna be fucking going ham in it. You know what I mean? Be super about it. That's crazy, man. Who's in charge? The revered mother presides over the chantry, and Sir Bryant leads the few Templars guarding us. Mm -hmm. When the prophet Andraste was burned by the magisters, the maker turned away from his creations. We gain his forgiveness by spreading Andraste's Some of the teachings. Channel light, by the, way. the maker will return when the chant is sung from the four corners of the world. That's a crazy thing to be specific about. Yeah, that seems like an excuse to spread Chantry's influence. I ain't gonna lie to you. Would you see someone's soul denied the maker's light just for the misfortune of having been born outside the Chantry's see? influence? Everyone deserves redemption, my friend. It's not that. It's more so like that's how you're spreading. May the Maker watch over you. This religion. Same, bro. <sighs> so what do you want to talk about? Let's interrupt this. Are uh, you trying to touch me? No. Cool. I'm sorry. I cannot talk now. I must feed the Holy Brazier to ensure the flame never dies. Um. What's the significance of it? It represents the flames that burned Andraste herself. Do you know the tale? Yeah, kind of, whatever. <clears throat> I know the Chantries, you know, keep a fire to honor her death. The prophet was burned in the ancient city of Minrathus. Right. Before the ancient mages she had fought. Instead of dying in pain as the mages wanted, she was purified by the fire and taken by the maker into the heavens to stand forever at his side. We are all sinners. The fire symbolizes our hope that forgiveness is possible. Thus, we will serve by feeding its flames. That's wild, but all right. So if I sin, I just gotta set myself on fire? Don't be ridiculous. It is a symbol and not meant to be taken literally. 
Now go and leave me to my task. Hey, man. Let all man That's what that sounded like to me, man. Let uh, all repeat the chant of life. Ugh, there's too much. I'm sorry, but I must prepare the chant of life. I don't know how scared everyone is. God, they talk too much. Ah, uh, let's look at the book, I guess. Actually, kid, are you reading this book or like. I'm scared. When are we going home? Alright. Those Adventures of, of the Black Box. Nah, we'll look at them in the future. Bookshelf. My codex got updated for what? Thank you. Oh. Allow me. I could do that for you. Bronze symbol of Adraste. Oh my god. That nah, we can give that to her. Or Alistair, really? Then shall the maker return to the black city in heaven. Please. And then we shall the chant of light make it pure. I cannot Let interrupt them. Be How about you? Let all repeat nope. the chant of light. Uh, Only the word dispels the darkness. I have a key? Upon us. Oh, from Bryant. Ah, eh, potions and a fire crystal. I can't go up there, damn. Hello, Peter. Yes? What can I do for you? I don't know, bro. Oh, I have a letter for you from the Blackstone Irregulars. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my sister. Sure, sign the paper, she said. You'll enjoy some coin now, but they'll be back. I guess I'll see you on the front lines. Okay. I suppose so. Bye, Peter. Teplar. Please do not cause a disturbance. Matters are delicate enough with all the newcomers. Yeah. And when the chart spreads across oh. all what four now? corners... Oh, lol, I forgot about this. Stealing failed. Oh no. We are watching you carefully, stranger. Very carefully. Damn it. Let's do it again. Damn it. No fight or nothing though? Here, rob him. Oh my god, yeah, we can't just keep robbing. That's crazy. Is it not on newest? I'm about to rob everybody. I ain't gonna lie to you. That didn't impact anything, though, did it? No. It's done. Some money. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing this, though. Crazy that it's her doing this to all these guys. Thank you. An item. What was it? Does it show me more of other shit? I guess. here there you go it's all about the money I bet you could literally rob everybody I really probably should actually but man I'm gonna save robbing <laughs> I forgot I did that that's amazing all right hello re revered mother Ooh, books that's Lord dude the Imperium Chantry huh all right. Good day, Sister Liliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. I do not recognize your companion. So. Greetings. Will you be making a donation to no. the Chantry? Our need has never been greater. I mean, I guess I can, but no. Uh. Who are you? I am the revered mother of this Chantry. Traditionally, those who seek my blessing tithe first. What is it acceptable? Might I suggest 30 silver? Oh my fucking god. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry, but I only have 10. Yeah, fuck her. The fuck? One out of one is a more generous gift than 10 out of thousands. What can I do for you then? It's 10 silver, whatever. Uh, I want to talk about Sten, the canary you imprisoned. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? Got a thumbnail. Um, well... Is there any way I can convince you to release him? Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. Well, no, I don't wanna... I think you might release him into my custody. Uh, yeah, I was thinking you'd release him to my custody. 
And what do you say on this, Liliana? There you go. You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, your reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it. I thought this last time. Were things not so I had an intimidator. Very well. What? I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, your reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. Wow. It helps to to to, to have Liliana. That's crazy. I don't get her first usually. Usually I try to get Sten and then her. No, this is the best way. What? I had an intimidator in my other playthrough. I felt so bad. Yes. What can I do for you now? I'm a Grey Warden. I need your help. A Grey Warden? Here? Mm-hmm. Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tan Logan declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. Fuck them. Yeah, but it was Logan that betrayed the king. Tan Logan? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the Wardens. Excuse me? There is a price on your head. Lay low and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Bitch. Now, if there is nothing else... That, that's not helpful. What the fuck? Can you provide us any help at all? I cannot help you without risking the safety of this village enchantry. The best I can do is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. Now, that's whack. If there is nothing else. Yeah, why are you siding? That's just crazy. Uh, give me your blessing, I guess. For a Grey Warden. Yes, you have a difficult road to walk, don't you? Whatever, man. Even Morgan? Oh, wow. In Andraste's name, I call upon the Maker to watch over his child and creation. I see stat boosts. Watch over his path, O oh Maker. Give him light in darkness. So let it be. Now, All right. if there is nothing else, All right. may the Maker guard you, Grey Warden. Sure. No stat boosts, no nothing. Can I rob her? Can I rob her? Can I? No, but like, can I? I'm not saying I'm gonna, right? But can I? <sighs> Nothing to steal. Damn it. That would have been incredible. Ooh, uh, that would have been incredible. Wow. Alright. Anything to talk about with Sir Bryant? Greetings, Grey Warden. What can I do for you? None. Yep. Should we talk to, to our people here yeah why not let's save let's try to have some conversations huh let's go one at a time morgan what do you wish of me uh if you must <sighs> fuck can you teach others to become shape shit changers i cannot teach you no but any other mages that cared to learn yes i could do that okay send whoever you wish my way and i shall teach them what i can in the camp Provided they possess the will to even make the attempt. Cool. Yay. What do you wish of me? One. If you must. Uh, did you grow up in the Kukari Wilds? Why do you ask me such questions? I do not probe you for pointless information, do I? Alright, fucking Shadowheart. Uh, you could probe me yet. No, that's crazy. Is that a fair way to annoy you? No, I'm curious. What's wrong with that? Any number of cats could inform you of the answer to that question, but have it your way. Curiosity killed the cat. What is it you asked if I grew up in the wilds? A curious question. Where else would you picture me? Yeah. For many years it was simply Flemeth and I. The wilds and its creatures were more real to me than Flemeth's tales of the world of man. In time I grew curious. I left the wilds to explore what lay beyond, never for long. Brief forays into a civilized wilderness. Alright. Uh... You remain unnoticed? For the most part. Flemeth taught me well. For all that I had been taught, however, the truth of the civilized lands proved to be... overwhelming. I was unfamiliar with so much. So confident and bold was I, yet there was much that Flemeth could never have prepared me for. Huh. Very daring, that sounds like you. <laughs> Equal parts daring and foolhardy, perhaps. 
Only once was I accused of being a witch of the wilds, and that by a chastened who happened to be traveling with a merchant caravan. He pointed and gasped, and began shouting in his strange language, and most assumed he was casting some curse upon me. I acted the terrified girl, and naturally, he was arrested. That's the thinking game right there. That was quick thinking. Men are always willing to believe two things about a woman. One, that she is weak, and two, that she finds him attractive. <sighs> I played the weakling and battered my eyelashes at the captain of the guard. <laughs> Child's play. Hey, smart shit. The point being that I was able to move through human lands fairly easily. Whatever humans think a witch of the wild looks like, tis not I. Hmm. Not that I did not have trouble. There are things about human society which have always puzzled me, such as the touching. What's up? Why all the right. touching for a simple greeting? What do you mean? Like a handshake or like, hmm, how should I ask this? Um, it's not a human. You're just you're in for all. Well, should I say that it's like a for all the thing touching like a handshake? Let's go with two. To begin with, yes. What is the point of touching my hand? I find it's it an respect, offensive intrusion. You know? There were many nuances that Flemeth could never tell me of. When to look into another's eyes, how to eat at a table, how to bargain without offending. None of these things I knew. I still hmm. do not understand it all, truth be told, but then I gave up long ago any hope of doing so. When I returned to the wilds last, I swore to Flemeth that I had no intention of leaving again. Well, well you know what? I'm going to work out like this at least. Yes? Let's ignore the entire Darkspawn threat and the presence of a simpleton as your only other Grey Warden yeah. ally then. Not that I lack appreciation for the intent of your comment. Thank you. I try. Well, let's get on with it before the ground opens up and swallows us, yes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, plus six. Ah, save. Start to Liliana. Yes? You know this place. Lothering? I think it started as a settlement by the river, and then grew when it became the place where two roads met. There are always people in Lothering, but many are just passing through. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. Uh, what would someone like you be doing in Lord of the Rings Chantry? What is meant by someone like me? Uh, you don't seem to be, you don't seem to belong in a cloister? Let's go, they don't teach you how to fight in a cloister, do they? Did you think I was always a cloistered sister? The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become a thund. Mm. What, uh... What, what's affirmed? We affirm our belief in the Maker, oh. in Andraste, and the Chant. But other than that, there are no vows taken. That's it? Hey, fucking, that's nothing. What? Why were you seeking safe harbor, then? The Chantry does not pride, and you should. I desired time apart from the world. Fair. I was a traveling minstrel in Orlais. Oh. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. Huh. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, Solid, yes? Solid, yeah. Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. Alright. I got some codex, I guess, soon from Orlais. Well, that's something. Let's go with uh, Alistair. What do you need? Hey, man, I'm going to talk to you. Ask away. What can a Templar do? Essentially, they're trained to fight. The Chantry would tell you that the Templars exist simply to defend. But don't let them fool you. They're an army. Look at that armor. The other main purpose for a Templar is, of course, to hunt mages. To that end, we train in talents that drain mana and disrupt spells. Yeah, you fucking have none of that. <laughs> so, couldn't others learn these talents? Perhaps, but there usually isn't much of an opportunity. The Chantry keeps a close rein on its Templars. We are given lyrium to help develop our magical talents, you see. Which means we become addicted. Oof. And since the Chantry controls the lyrium trade with the dwarves, well, I'm 
sure you can put two and two together. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Um, so you were like addicted to this lyrium, bro? Thankfully, no. You only start receiving lyrium once you've taken your vows. Oh. You don't need lyrium in order to learn the Templar talents. Oh. Lyrium just makes Templar's talents more effective, or so I was told. Maybe it doesn't even do that. Mm. The Chantry usually doesn't let their Templars get away either, so they can spread their secrets. I'm a bit of an exception. Lucky me. Yeah, you got a bit of a target on you with that. What do you need? Ask away. Uh, so you, can you teach others to become a Templar? I suppose I could. But I really would rather not. When the Grand Cleric let Duncan recruit me, she made me swear never to reveal Templar secrets outside of the Chantry. I'd rather not go back on my word. All right. I respect your word, then. Ask me later, perhaps. Maybe I'll change my mind. This is not something small you're asking, after all. No, no, I get it. It's an oath. What do you need? Ask away. Just a little more bottom. Uh... How did you be? No, we know that, right? Tom, uh, why have you remained a Templar if you hit the Chantry? Have you seen the uniform? It's not only stylish, but well made. I'm a sucker for good tailoring. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, I don't think I've ever seen you wear it, though. I keep it hidden under my pillow. Oh. Sometimes I'll take it out just so I can hug it fondly and remember the good old days. <laughs> Brings a tear to the eyes, you know. <laughs> sure. Uh, and what's the real reason? You don't really want to know about my being a Templar, do you? I do. It's really quite boring. But it's interesting. Uh, well, you don't gotta tell me, I guess. I'm just curious. Then let's just get back to what we were doing. No offense, but I'd really rather not discuss it. That's fair. Disapproves? What? What? For what? For what? What I? What I? Fuck this dude. Hold up. What do you need? Ask away. Such as they are. Oh, the the wardens. Ah, uh, shit. Ah, uh, well, we need to start rebuilding the order. I mean, eventually we would have to use the joining to make more gray wardens, right? Yeah. But I don't know how to do the joining. Or what's involved. I know it involves lyrium and some other magic it's and that it's lyrium? really difficult to prepare, but that's it. Unless we can find out more about the joining, I guess we better get used to the idea that there might only be two of us for now. Until more come from elsewhere. Or life. Um, what would happen if it's just you and I, bro, bro? Just left? You mean just left for Elden? I don't know. If there's an archdemon, however, we're supposed to be the only ones who can defeat it. And that means the blight would grow unchecked. Eventually, other Grey Wardens in Orlay and other lands would hear about it, and they would come to fight it, but they wouldn't come in time to save Ferelden. Oh, you mean if we left? There's no way. I'm not going anywhere. Is that what that question was? If we just dipped? That's not what I meant. Jesus. Uh, what happens now that there's just the two of us? I imagine that eventually the Grey Wardens outside of Ferelden will wonder what's happened. Why there's no contact from Duncan or someone. They'll send someone eventually. Though who knows what Loghain's people in Denerim will tell them. Maybe they won't send anyone. Mm. We could try to contact them. But that would mean leaving Ferelden. And even if we did, they couldn't come back with us in time to stop the Blight. So that means whatever happens... It's up to us. This, this lady's freaking me out because I, I just realized as well, we're like both glowing in an aura and that is kind of fucking wild. Look at her face, dude. <laughs> and then I saw her face. Now she's a believer. Uh, is there like a headquarters somewhere? Here in Ferelden, there's our compound in Denerim at the palace, but that's it. Loghain will have control over that and be watching it, no doubt. Beyond that, the only place I know of is Weishaupt Fortress. That's the headquarters of all Grey Wardens and Neanderthals, a thousand miles from here. But I've no idea how to even contact them. Mm. So unless we try to get back to the compound in Denerim, I suppose the answer is no. There's nowhere for us to go. 
Where's the nearest wardens or life? That's a good question. Yeah. There's plenty in Orlay, but who knows where they might be found. And the nearest Orlesian city is weeks away. Well, I can help. If we go north and cross the sea, there's bound to be some in the free marches. Again, however, I just don't know where. I don't know anything about Grey Wardens in other lands. Eh. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. What do you need? Nah, we're, we're good. We got some lore out of it. Take that. Fucking hell. Alright, let's go ahead and, um... Did you rob him? It doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and... Freeze them. That's gonna be wild. Have a care where your eyes linger, Alistair. Yes, well, don't worry. It's not what you think. I see. I was looking at your nose. And what is it about my nose that captivates you so? I was just thinking that it looks exactly like your mother's. <laughs> I hate you so much. Mm? What? Ah, uh, it's funny. Never mind. Y'all make for interesting conversation, don't y'all? All right, I was saying, I was saying, Kunari. No, I was saying Quarian. I was gonna type that in in my uh, my Twitch title for this. It's not a it's not a Quarian. That's a Kunari. I, I had to check Google, and I was like, oh, whoops. You wish something more of me? Yeah. Um. I have the key to open your cage. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. Shout out, Liana. One sec, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, she agreed to release you to my custody. So be it. Set me free, and I will follow you against the blight. All right. Um. I choose to take him out. No, I mean, I'm chilling. How can you help us out? I have spent my life in the vanguard. I know war, and your lands need all the help they can get. Yeah. All right. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Yeah. Um. You're free to go. Ah. Uh, wh what if I don't lead you to your atonement? Then I will find it myself. All right. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Uh, I, I wanted to say thanks, but all right. It'd be crazy to have him around, no? Fuck. Hold up for now. No. And damnation. Indeed. Oh, blast it. Yes. He's a level eight warrior. That's crazy. I want to see if there's any unique dialogues with him, but I suppose I should give him something. That. I have no armor. I sold it all. Eh. In the wilds we are eaten. Here we starve. Is there no end to our fortune? Can I go back with Sten? That'd be wild. They're gonna be like, what the fuck? Yeah, I hate that I have no but oh I can check the camp, never mind. If you seek refuge in the chantry, there's simply no room left. Uh okay. Make her watch over you. Uh-huh. What happens if we talk to them with him? The Kunari, out of its cage. There you go. Yep, I knew it. Indeed, I would question this, but I have far more pressing matters to deal with. Misstep, creature, and it will be your last. A Kunari does not misstep. Can you? <laughs> it figures that you would be behind this. Stan, can you not? I should go. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Yo, yo, could, hey, Stan, shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. Is Stan a good character? Somebody let me know in the future. Oh, hello. You dare to bring that canary here? Get him out. Out! I sense I am unwanted. 
What was the matter? This is intolerable. Leave at once. You dare to bring that? I sense I am unwanted. And they wish to talk. This is intolerable. Leave. Oh wow, you can't even talk at all or nothing. Crazy. Yo. Please. We came here That's crazy. That's such a good I don't know, I like that. It's a little detail there. Like with Morgan, like you have the tablet going, hey, you are you who are you, right? It's kind of fun, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Tablar. Sorry, I can't talk. I must watch. Oh, you and Sir Brian have the same voice that you're interesting. Can we talk to the merchant? That'd be so interesting. Hold up. <laughs> Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. No? Good then. We're gonna come as it is, alright. Was that it? I'm just here to keep watch. Alright. And you're also in Dragon Age 2. Now hold on. There should be a way to get in here, no? There is. Aha! I want to go home. Yeah, too bad. How terrible for Queen Anora that her young king is dead, and she not even with child. Okay. Boy. I don't like this place. Why did we come here? I don't know, man. Escaping shit. How terrible for Queen Anora that her young king is dead. I leave you. And she There's not fucking nothing there. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Isn't there a chest up here I can probably have Liliana open? Sam's probably like, oh, I feel going to be walking around. Yeah, uh, about that, brother. Uh, about that. Can I talk to Stan, actually? Let me talk to Stan. Why not? Then we'll dip out. Why are we stopping? What do you mean? I think we should talk for a moment. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? Yes. Are you alright? You've been in the cage for weeks. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. Uh, you said you were in the, the army? I am. Okay. Why would the Kunari send soldiers here? The Antam are the eyes, hands, and mouth of the Kunari. We are how my people know the world. Oh. Uh -huh. I mean, doesn't that make your view of things a little shrewd? Compared to what? Uh, you can only learn about people that you conquer, right? What does anyone truly know of the world? The world changes. We change. The Antam observe what we can, just as you do. There's no audio for that, alright? What's your hurry? What a strange language you speak. You say hurry, where I would say duty. But it's not your duty, though. No, it is yours, and you are chatting with me instead. Yeah. Okay. As you wish. He approves? Wait, what? Oh, shoot. Brian! What's up, brother? It's rude-ass fucking Kunari out here. I don't like Stan. People, I think, like... Why do people like Sten? Is it because they spent some time with him that it's like, look, he's just so interesting. But, like, I don't see how he is interesting, though. It's like, I don't know. He don't seem like a guy that I'm like, oh, yeah, this is a character I want in my party, like, at all. Here? What do you mean? Women are priests or merchants or artisans or farmers. None of those have any place fighting. Yo, Sten's an I asshole. I have no idea how to answer this. Same. It is not done. There is no more to it. Do you mean your people have no female mages or warriors? Of course not. Why would our women wish to be men? What are you talking about? They don't wish to be men. They shouldn't. That can only lead to frustration. What the fuck? Stan. No, never mind. Let's drop this. Yo, yeah, why are you in my party? Yo, I don't like Stan. I think Stan is, um... I can see how you can be interesting to some people, right? But, like, I, I don't... Make us blessings upon you, Warden. I, I don't Going. care about them. Oh, I don't have to turn that in? Oh, well. Uh, where can I switch my party, actually? Oh, just like that? Yeah, get off the Vashden. party. Yeah, no. Yes. I don't want him in here. Dude is not that interesting to me, man. It's the Maker's Punishment, it is. 
Alright, well finally after like three goddamn streams, we can finally, once and for all, uh, decline the rap with this? No. We can finally leave Lothering. Uh, we've got in our two party members, Liliana and Sten, who we're never going to bring out. Uh, if I ever want to talk to him, it'll probably be just with a guide to just to bop up his approval or whatever, but that's it. Um, it's just weird, dude. There's not much to say. He just very much wants to do whatever the goal is. That's it. Pace yourself, bro. What army do we have? If something happens in the future that I, I know what's going to happen with him and me at some point, uh, I'll let y'all know. Uh, right there and there, because it's just so interesting. Yes, it's leave. And I, like, it's something that you don't really experience in the lot. Oh shit! Is that the army? No. Oh my god, dude, that's crazy. <gasps> Oh my game crash. <laughs> really? The dragon was too scary? The game said nah. Yo, that's crazy, dude. Alright. What's up, gamers? Yo, um hype for uh for the day tomorrow? I am. Is there anyone that didn't grow up with it or like at some point in their youth check it out? The original PS, uh, P3 or P3Fs, or Fez. It's kind of like, what's the big deal? But, uh, it's Persona 3 Fez, man. What do you mean? Well, Persona 3 Reload, I should say. I don't know, is that the game y'all are interested in playing? Oh, I can just leave. Okay, cool, cool. That was annoying, dude. Does it, hey, does it glitch again? That'd be fucking funny. Let's see here. Look it up. Oh. There we go. Ah. I had a Bad skin dreams, between. Huh? I did. Uh, it seemed so real. Well, it is real. Sort of. You see... Part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. That's crazy. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. Yeah, that's uh, terrifying. I can't believe y'all don't tell people about that. Although I guess it does kind of sound crazy. Is that the... Why didn't Duncan tell, just tell everyone that? He did. He said he felt the Archdemon's presence. Everyone just assumed he was guessing. Uh... It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Mm. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Yeah, go figure. Thank you. I, I do appreciate it. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Woohoo. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Fucking hell. Enchantment, huh? Oh. Oh, shit. Hold up. Let's, first of all... Uh, camp. Oh, well. Uh, you know what? Let's make it... Let's make it juice camp. For the juice house, we got the juice camp. Yeah. Uh, first of all, hey, you guys join ah, us. It's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedic, at your service once again. What it do? I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a Grey Warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Oh, yeah, Ooh. I can't wait to yes. rob y'all. I can't rob them. Liliana, I can't play with. Play with. I can't use. Uh, you're fair to say, you know, just mind yourselves and whatnot. Uh, what are you selling exactly? Anything, everything, but all of the finest quality. 
No cheap trinkets here. And my boy Sandal happens to be a bit of a hand yes. with enchantments. Oh, yes. Sadly, it also makes us a target for bandits and the like. If there were spare hands to hire as guards, I would have done so long ago. Yeah, just follow us around, bro. Have you been following us? I can see why you might be suspicious, being a Grey Warden and all. Were I in your shoes, I would feel the same way. Mm -hmm. Trust me when I say that my encountering you here was serendipity and nothing more. Mm. I travel a lot, so I'm bound to meet everyone on the road eventually. If you prefer, I'll take my boy and be on my way. Oh. But regretfully, you're the safest spot on this road, without yeah. a doubt. You're, you're, you're free to stay, bro. Just, just, you know, mind yourselves. Wonderful. Thank the gentleman, won't you, boy? Thank you, sir. Of course. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. Perfect. Hey, Sandal. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. Wow. I had no idea such a thing existed. I mean, yeah, to fuck with runes. The fact that Morgan can't even fuck with runes, for example, like you can, that's crazy. Um, I like some enchanting done, actually. Enchantment! Yeah. Oh, I can only put it for the Oath Keeper, huh? Well, lightning, fire, chance to reduce movement speed. That's pretty good, actually. But I'm gonna go with uh oh. Can I remove them? I assume yeah. Yeah, you can. Bang! Thank you. Uh everything can be equipped as so long as you have the runes available. Cool. Fire. Enchantment? Yeah, that for free? Oh dude. What else does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally, some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. Awesome, dude. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. Beautiful. What words do you have, bro? Oh, certainly. I can do that for you. Just come with me. What you got? Oh, I can get all the agents I need. Yes. Oh man, okay. What did that guy want as far as the whatever? Uh oh a tome? Oh it's a permanent thing, right. That's that could be very useful. Uh what 131 gold Oh wow, but stamina region is pretty I don't know. Uh we have a lot we have even runes here too, a manual. Oh, to be to be a Templar or, or oh, what? And a backpack? Oh man! Oh, you got some stuff here, bro. Yeah, he's got some stuff here. I ain't gonna lie to you. Increases money gain. Oh, hey, 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 hey! Give me that. Yeah, I need that. Uh, Dalish Savannah Regen. <sighs> That's also really good. Damn. Blackmore Torque? Oh, Mabari. Uh, wow, health or willpower. I can put this on Morgan, right? Yeah. Dodge attacks. That's pretty good, too. Willpower and constitution. Fuck, that's pretty good. Oh, this is pretty good, man. Um, I need the backpack, though. I ain't gonna lie to ya. Yeah, hold up. That's pretty good. First of all, uh, me, I need that. Uh, Morgan, boom! It looks so silly. That looks fine, but no, nah, we need the stats. Um, you can't use this crossbow either? Oh, cause, oh, you need 30 strength? Bro, that's crazy. Um. Oh, did I get something for him? No, I was gonna though, huh? Mm. Where's Alistair? There he is. 
Did I not get anything else? No, I guess not. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. It wears. I'm sure you'll be pleased. Uh. I don't need this crossbow. I ain't gonna lie to you, though. It's good to have, I suppose. So I can't make anything with these rings, huh? It's just a ring. Um. Is that a shield? Oh my god. Plus one strength, dex, and constitution is crazy, but 36 strength? Fuck. That's also really good. Chance to dodge attacks? That's just really good for her. I don't have the money. Nope. Spent all my... Ugh, spent all my fucking money. Ah. Uh, well. I tried. I sure tried. Ugh, man. All right. I have my fast, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um... Sir. Oh, just the one? Damn it. Thought I was over there. Uh, Alright, let me save real quick. Oh, I can talk to them, though, no? Hold on, can I persuade them? If there's anything I can do for you, please, please. What's your story? Tell... Hmm. I suppose since you told me about you being a Grey Warden. See? It's only fitting for me to be as open. I am originally from Orzammar, the famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately Frostback Mountains. I was a merchant there, too. Merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You mm. can't just leave them behind. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. Sure. Jim Hype, Liverpool game later today, 12-15. Klopp loss is leaving. We gotta win all the chips. We gotta win all of them, bro. That's the fucking... What is that? The FA, Carabao, the Europa, and the league title. Uh, it's no Champions League, but I'll still take that Europa, man. That's my first one as a fan. Uh, why did you leave? One day, a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit and then started shrieking in Why? dismay. Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. He'd been lost in a cave-in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the darkspawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. Nobles, they're touchy like. Uh, what happened? Well, I didn't steal them. You see, I, I had been paying these castless thugs to venture out into the deep roads for me. The lost tigs. Th they're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. Hmm. I mean, yeah, better, better to do something with them than let them to just rot. That's exactly how I see it. The noble woman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out. Oh, he just did. Bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never looked back. Damn. Well, thank you for the story, bro. Damn. You're quite welcome. Now, is there anything the boy or I can get you? Mm. You didn't mention your son in this tale. Ah, yes. I'm married to a fine woman back in Denerim. That's ah. true. She'd give me a son if she could, but uh, that's not likely to ever be. Why? Sandal here. I found him in the deep roads years ago. What? Abandoned, I think. And he was never quite right in the head. I took him in, and I brought him with me when I came here to the surface. It may not be my blood, true, but I think of him as one. We left Orzammar. That's right, boy. Maybe one day we'll see it again. Oh. 
That's... Blood isn't all that important. That well, was generous of you. That was generous of him, yeah. It's not as if I don't benefit, mind you. Turns out the boys are natural working with enchantments. Right. He might have even been leery of addled. I never thought of that before, to be honest. Happens sometimes. He can work an enchantment into just about anything, however, given some time. Could probably open his own shop, if he knew how. Hmm. Enchantment. That's right. <laughs> well, he does seem to enjoy it, at least. Enchantment. Uh, all right. So what, what, what about these goods, though? They're not for the deep roads, right? Look, we... We don't rob people, all right? We don't take things from people that need them. The things in the law's tags, what good did they do lying there? I brought them back to Orzammar, where people could look at them and remember. It's not all that different up here. Okay. There are places long abandoned by the humans everywhere. Even more now with the Darkspawn coming. Kind of see him, you know what I mean? What do you mean? People flee from the Blight with good reason, but they forget things. Things with value and meaning. They leave them behind because they're frightened and desperate. And sometimes, my boy and I, we find our way to these places before the Horde descends, and we save these things. I take them away so the Darkspawn don't get them. You're scavengers. Is that so bad? They destroy everything they touch. Look, I, look, look. You don't have to talk morals with me, all right? I get it. Old school Winsky player, you know? You just you just made a new account. All right, run to the fucking wilderness. Go ahead and run around, see if anyone's fighting or whatever. If there's any lost lost items that you could just take. Go ahead, man. Go be a looter. It's cool. I get it. Make your profit. They were abandoned anyway. Uh, it's better than having the dark one take it all. That's what I tell myself too. Ah, these are dark times indeed. Dark times, my friend. Any rumors? With King Kaelin dead, the throne falls to Queen Anora. She's made her father the region, however, at least for now. I think Kaelin's father, old King Merrick, would have approved. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. Any other rumor? It's not just Darkspawn in the Horde, you know that? There are people with them. Folks who are sick with the blight, and their minds are all twisted and mad. Mm -hmm. I heard tell of a man meeting his own brother on the field, yet when he called out to him, his brother didn't even recognize him and just attacked. Damn. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. I love these two. They're so interesting to me. Of course. Good fortune to you and yours. Goodbye. Ah, nice folks. Let me say it one more time. I'm making the rounds. We're talking to fucking everybody. Yes, that includes Stan as well, but with him, I'm going to use a guide. What do you wish of me? Uh, let me talk to you personal. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Why are you still here as a crazy ass, but sure. I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid you. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. No, I don't want you to leave. The fuck? I mean, do you want to leave? If I wanted to leave, then I would go. I remain, so do not ask such pointless questions. Right. Alright, wow, negative ten? Are you serious? There's no conversation to be had with this woman? Do I have to talk to her about like everything else? What do you wish of me? I suppose so. If you must. Um uh, Nah, crazy thing to say. Have you ever been hunted by the chantry? <laughs> you are very cute to ask so many questions. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Of course I don't. It is no matter. My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes. By Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. Oh my god. Yo, Flemeth was farming that XP, though. And for a show. Get the fat loot, you feel me? Damn, so y'all y'all probably had like a bunch of Templar armor. Well, no, you wouldn't take it. Because then like people would ask questions, why the fuck do you have Templar armor, right? Although a shady guy or merchant would probably... I'm sure, I'm sure our dwarf homies over here, Sando and his dad would probably be like, hey, some profits to be made here, you know? <laughs> uh, uh, 
Fun? You found it fun? I found the game fun. I was too young to understand the truth behind what was happening. Flemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. Makes sense. And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait. <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wild. Yes, yeah, wild. Their doom. Uh, so did you actually like kill them all or? Me? No. I never did any of the killing until later. And even then, Flemeth was a glutton for that sort of thing. That's kind of crazy. Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere and we would be lost within the forest once again. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. Hmm. I mean... What's a good question to ask here? Do you still think it was fun? I think that my mother made it fun so that a child did not learn to fear. And I think that it was necessary. There are no trials for apostates, no prisons, no mercy. There are only absolutes. So only survival matters. If the wilds have taught me anything, tis this. First, you must survive. Do you disagree? Uh... You're probably right, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> an enlightened view. Or at least an agreement. In the wild? Yeah, yeah you guys survived. Enough talk. Let us return to the task at hand. Cool. That's for approval. Give me one sec. I actually just pulled up the gift uh, list. I do want to see if there's anything I can actually give her. Um, so there are, like, levels to it. There's, like, a plot gift, which you can only give to her. Then there's like preferred gifts, which will give you the most amount of points. And then there's like, oh, hey, thanks for the fucking beer or whatever, right? Uh, I want to see if I have, I guess, type. Yeah. Mm. If we find a golden mirror, that's going straight to her. Actually, there's a couple things that are going straight to her. Uh, a gold amulet? Nope. I have a shiny gold ring. How about a, sh a shiny bracelet? No. Alright. Uh, don't have as much as I thought I would have, but alright. Oh, no, no. I do. I do. I do. Go on a rope necklace. Let's give it to her. Um, so I just... I am yep. grateful. Plus nine. It is thoughtful indeed. Uh, golden sight is crazy. What? Uh... Did the symbol of Adrasi just for a uh, lovely honor or something? Probably. Uh, I know already, hey. Toto, here's a fucking beef bone. There you go. <laughs> uh, let's see. For Liliana, there's two plot things that I don't have, obviously. Here we go. Bronze symbol of Andrasse, we can give to her. I... That's a wonderful thought. Yep. I don't know what to say. Ah, you know. Golden. There's a. There's another one. There's another one. What the fuck? Um. There's a few of them. Wow. Um. What what, what the fuck would it be for Alistair? Hold up. Okay, I, I see. Oh, what? Yo, when we find. Damn, that's crazy. Alright, wow. Uh, preferred. Really? You want the statuette? I would have thought this would have gone to, to, to Morgan, but no, Alistair wants this. Alright, well, here's the small carved statuette. I could get used to this, you know. One of your party members has begun to genuinely like you and respect your leadership as you improve your relationship with the party members. Head back to the camp to speak to them. They'd be much more willing to open up uh, when they don't have to worry about death around every corner. And you'll need to talk to them more if you want to continue to improve your relationship. You can try party. All right, cool, cool, cool. That's awesome. Shout out to Alistair. Um, I believe that's it as far as that, as far as what I have here. 
Any statuettes, give it to him. There's also a white runestone. Interesting. Um, where the fuck is Stan? Come here, Stan. Hold up. There's Shell. Who the fuck is Shell? What? Alright, Stan. Uh, oh shit, I don't really have a lot of shit for him. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I have like regular ass gifts, but I don't think any of them would want it. Well. Yeah, all the bones are for him. I, I just got spawned on something crazy. I didn't know that. Okay. So these are like regular ass gifts that I could just give. I mean, holy shit! Modern constitution gain from uh, Alistair. Dope. Um, same. That's crazy. Can I give? Can I give her like a bracelet or something? I'm trying to get that stat up. Hold up. Uh, get silver bracelet. Interesting. There you go. Minor magic, yeah, fuck yeah. That's a good boost. Wow, gifts are super useful, huh? Um, oh, that's a character sheet, interesting. Um, There you go, plot. Inspired. It's primary leadership. Party member has gained a minor bonus of magic. Beautiful. Alright, let's talk to her. I await your command. There you go. Uh Life in the Wild has been very lonely, no? At times, perhaps. A world full of people and buildings and things was all very foreign to me. If I wished companionship, I ran with the wolves and flew with the birds. If I spoke, twas to the trees. That's beautiful. Uh, that sounds wonderful. For a time. But one can only remain a child for so long. I recall the first time I crept beyond the edge of the wilds. I did so in animal form, remaining in the shadows and watching these strange townsfolk from afar. Huh. I happened upon a noblewoman by her carriage, adorned in sparkling garments the likes of which I had never before seen. I was dazzled. This, to me, seemed what true wealth and beauty must be. I snuck up behind her and stole a hand mirror from the carriage. It was encrusted in gold and crystalline gemstones, and I hugged it to my chest with delight as I sped back to Aww, the Aw, that's so awesome. What happened then? Flemeth was furious with me. I was a child and had not yet come into my full power, and I had risked discovery for the sake of a pretty bauble. That is, to yeah, teach me a okay. lesson, Flemeth took the mirror and smashed it upon the ground. Yo, Flemeth! I was heartbroken. I, you were just a child, though. What the fuck? And a foolish one. Flemeth was right to break me of my fascination. Beauty and love are fleeting and have no meaning. Yes, that's Survival crazy. has meaning. No, nah, not this statement. Power that's dumb. has meaning. Without those lessons, I would not be here today, as difficult as they might have been. No, but that was more like for survival, not like life advice. Well, power, sure, but like, oh, no love. Da, 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 da. The fuck kind of shit is that? So sorry for you. What's the right answer here? I guess to sympathize, I do feel sorry for her. Two it seems like there's to be like issues. Three I just don't agree with, but that might be actually what she wants to hear. Harsh lessons to teach a child. I feel sorry for you. Sorry? There is no need to feel sorry for me. What is there to be sorry for? What do you mean? To return to your original question, perhaps my time in the wilds was indeed lonely. But such was how it had to be. 
I find myself at times mm. wondering what might have become of the girl with the beautiful golden mirror, but such fantasies have no place amidst reality. I guess? I feel sorry for you. And that's what I want I wait your command. Uh... So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> Always. Never mind. Personal. I await your command. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Never mind. Damn, is that it? Fuck. All right. Moving on to somebody else. Oh, I need to get a guide for stand. Hold up. Let's talk to Stan. Yes. Oh. Stan guide conversation. It's so finicky, but whatever, man. Respect to show interest in the Canari. Oh, is that what I should have done? Damn. Be direct and confident with your goals and duties. He likes it when the warden does not stand up any for any nonsense. Okay. Uh I wanted to discuss something you mentioned. Speak then. Okay. Then I suggest we move on. I am hardly surprised. Very well. What? What were you doing in that cage? Sitting, as you observed. Caught up. Caught up. Damn, the Dragon Age wiki kind of sucks for this, huh? Yeah, they do. All right. Let's see what else I can find here. Mm -hmm. That's not what I meant. It's what you asked. Just tell me. I did. Parshera. Was there anything else? What? I have a question. I am hardly surprised. Uh, Very well. Actually, Speak then. Yeah, yeah, I do. Then I suggest. No, there was a on. question. Hold up. I am hardly surprised. Why did you come to for Melvin? There we go. To answer a question. What was the question? The Arishok asked, what is the blight? By his curiosity, I am now here. What's an Arishok? There we go. The one who commands the Antam, the body of the Kunari. So he's like your king? Kunari have no kings. Oh. Well, what do you have then? Little patience for endless questions. Okay. What? Did you find an answer to his question? A portion of it. What was the answer? Were you not at Ostagar when the army was overwhelmed? That is your answer. Mm. Why would the Canary care about the Blight? Why do you? Shall a Grey Warden? It's my fucking job? Exactly. You don't ask, nor do I. The Arashok sends me and I go. <sighs> don't you have to report back? Yes. When are you going to do that? Never. I cannot go home. Nice. Why? It doesn't matter now. Can we move on? We keep the dark spawn waiting. Can't ask him that, huh? Speak then. Then I suggest we move on. Is that it? Sure. Right. As you wish. <laughs> Plus one approval. Fuck this dude. I don't ever want to talk with him. Hey, doggy. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed so their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. He hates it. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. Did you not horrify my dog? My dog hates it. Oh, like you can tell the difference. For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Alistair, can you not? Electric blade and everything. It's full of rubbish. <laughs> if you've had it and didn't know, it's probably tasty. I never feed you another human being, doggy. It's not cannibalism if he's eating it, you know. He don't like it. It's beautiful. All right. Two more people to talk with. 
And then we're gonna end the stream, because the Liverpool game starting, I wanna get a little drink drink. And no, I don't mean beer. <gasps> I gotta put on my kit. Ooh, so we gonna be set. All right. It's gonna be a good day. Yes. Hello, ma'am. Uh, I like to talk. Well, here I am. Okay. This this fucking vision. I knew this would come up sooner or later. Yeah. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. Uh -huh. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. Okay. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I, I fell. And the darkness drew me in. Huh? Huh? That's it? That's that's all your fucking dream was? Yeah, this is why you didn't have the great wards, man. I saw like a thunder tornado thingy, like consumed all this dark shit, and then like when it was done, I fell in it. That's it. <laughs> I feel like that should be crazier to me, but it's not. You you dreamed of the blight? I suppose I did. That was what the darkness was, no? I don't know. When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was gray and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. But like, I feel like with people, like, that's the thing though, right? With, with like religion and faith. And then, like, just occurrences in life. I feel like, not those type of people, but, like, if you're very religious, you'll you'll find meaning in a lot of things, right? Whether it actually be a thing that's, you know, supernatural, sure. <clears throat> Excuse me, or not. But, like, it, it, you're creating that reason, Right? You're the one connecting the dot from one point to another, right? Could just be the flower was just, it happened to be growing. Like, everybody knew that the bush was dead, but that doesn't mean somebody wasn't, like, watering it or trying different soil or, or some shit, you feel me? Not that. In this game, you can actually have a different opinion than that because there is a whole... It's crazy. that you. you The game really pushes this whole idea about a maker and all this stuff of the Chantry. And then it's like, oh yeah, it's all actually real. And it's like... So then what the fuck is the point of having this unique dialogue of like, are you sure about that? Uh, who knows? What if it's actually this other crazy thing that caused all these things to happen? No. No, not at all. Not at all. Spoilers for new people. Uh, yeah, like a lot of this shit, like, it's kind of like... Um, Brian and Family Guy find, like has met Jesus, and, and it's like yeah, but he's still atheist. But it's like you have literally met this deity being. What are you talking about? That's crazy. Um, which I mean, and it makes the game interesting that way. But yeah, uh, some of the tones that we have read basically in the Codex are pretty much true, which is fucking crazy. Um, did that made you want to help me? In my dream, I fell. Or, or maybe I jumped. Already bad memory. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the blight devours everything? The blight is the Maker's punishment. That's fucking crazy. What? The Chantry says the Maker has left us. Yeah, let's go with that. He's still here. I hear him in the wind and the waves. I feel him in the sunlight that That's warms my beliefs. skin. I know what the Chantry says about the Maker. And what should I believe? What I feel in my heart? Or what others tell me? Oh, well, you know, in your, in your heart. You know, what I, but you know what? Here's what I'm going to say. Are you saying the Chantry's wrong? They said my ideas were blasphemy. But is it so bad if what I believe gives me comfort? Depending. If it could give someone else comfort, I know what I know. And no one will ever make that untrue. 
I wanted to keep talking. I didn't just want to say, oh, are you sure about that? Yes. Well, here I am. No. Oh, man, hold up. Let's go back. I'm getting my 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 po my bonus for my fucking friends. The fuck, hold up, come here. Yes. Okay, talk. Well, the here dream. I, in it. Yeah. I fell. Uh, and the darkness drew me the light. As, well, everyone. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand. You to want to help me? In, there are so many good things in the maker's Chad world. said, "Hey, man." I'm gonna sit by while the black Actually, no, yeah, one. His I know what the Chantry says about the Maker. I believe and what Wolf should I believe? Right to you, what I Liliana. feel in my heart? Thank you. It's nice to find someone who agrees. I know what I know. And no one will... I plus fucking four just from that one shit. God damn it. Cool. Cool. Doesn't that feel great? It's hard to ask for one more time. And then after we're done, y'all. Something on your mind? Have a good rest of your Wednesday. Questions? Of course. Oh, there's a lot of shit. If you were raised in the Chantry, have you ever, you know, <laughs> or, uh, 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 or, uh, you know, I guess what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, have you ever, um, I'm just wondering, really, you know, maybe it's inappropriate for me to ask, but. Never, never what? Had a good pair of shoes? Sex? Oh, so that's what we're talking about. <laughs> well, if you really want to know, you tell me first. We literally have. <laughs> we literally, with the uh, the elf link, which I saw a Reddit thing about how, like, hey, isn't that fucking dumb? What if, what if like, worst case scenario, this would have led to, like, a bastard, right? And then it's, like, this half-elf half human but it belongs to nobility but it's also an elf right child wouldn't this be like a whole fucking controversy and shit and i'm like that's beautiful i like when fans do that kind of shit it makes it interesting to have some head cannons right if it wasn't for the fact that everything went to hell and then she died and everybody else died but yeah um tell you what of course i have and apparently you have no shame as well. <laughs> well, all right, I'll play along. I myself never had the pleasure. Oh. Not that I haven't thought about it. Same, dude. But, you know. Proper power. <laughs> oh, I see. You like the proper parts. Oh, that's funny. Your cruel japes will be remembered, sir. If you hear sobbing later, let's be crying myself to sleep. That's beautiful. <laughs> At least you'll get some decent rest. Ha ha ha. Your cruel interrogation will be remembered forever. Or maybe just until lunch. Lunch makes everything better. Oh, look, I have cheese. Perfect. Hey, plus two. I don't know. I want to shoot the shit with him. You feel me? Beautiful. Um, I got to go. I'll catch y'all later. I better be ready for Liverpool to win against uh, Chelsea. Every time we play, it's always a fucking ass beating. And it's not an ass beating, but it's always a close game. We've won the Carabao and the FA a year ago, two years ago. And both games went to PKs. And I'm like, this is going to be an insane game. I can't wait. I got to go get chips, a drink, make myself a sandwich, and then just, just enjoy it, man. Y'all have a good one. Brian, thank you for coming on through. As always, my friend. Shout out to all the lurkers, anybody that watched this in the archive channel, and of course, later edited on on YouTube. Tomorrow, if all things go well, I will be starting up Persona 3 Reload. Uh, I gotta see how that works for preloading and everything like that with Xbox. I hope it's on Ultimate. If not, uh, cards subject to change. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna catch y'all down the line. That's my character just stares at you, as at Liliana and as your Sarah, y'all. Right, take care. Like this video, YouTube, if you haven't seen this. And yeah, stay juicy, everybody. No, oh, excuse me. Peace. Woo. Better protein shake is killing me.